In this video, we're going to be using E and S Rasaj Moana and the Feather SS Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back, and let's get into it today. So, we're going to be using, for the first time, E and S Rasage, or at least I think it's E and S Rasage. Yeah, that's it. E and S Rasage Moana, and I believe this is a soap out of France. This was uh, sent to me by Pastor's Shaving in New York City. The cost on this is $22.99 for five ounces, and on our cost chart there, $4.59 an ounce, which is a fair price, especially considering, excuse me, that it's coming all the way from France. I like the label on that. It's pretty cool. Moana is the name of it. It has a beautiful scent. I'll put the scent uh, description for you right there. We have coconut, orange, blossom, bergamot, jasmine, vanilla, among other things. It's really nice to my nose. It's got a nice tropical vibe to it, and I do like it. Scent strength is right around that medium level, which I also like. Uh, this, by the way, is a tallow base soap. I'll put the some of the ingredients for you right there, or at least what I could pull off Pastor's uh, website. This is a very dark soap, as you might be able to see there. It's super, super dark, and when I scooped it out, I don't know if you can see that in the soap, but it almost has a gritty sort of feel to it when I was pressing it in the bowl. So it took me a while to incorporate all that soap and work all that grittiness out of it, but once I did, it made a nice lather. I'll pop a lather shot up right there. I will say it took me a little more time, but I think it's going to be a good lather. And we look forward to using e &S Rasage for the first time today. And don't forget, if you're in New York City, you know, check out Pastors because they have all sorts of stuff uh, in Pastors there. Go see Leon at Pastors. The razor for today will be the Feather SS Shavette because this is shape, this is straight razor slash Shavette Sunday. And I have a Pro Guard blade in there that I've just been trying to use up. I don't even know how many shaves are on it. Maybe five or six, but we'll continue plugging away with that. And so let's get into it today. We'll start by misting the face here, getting some hydration on there, and we'll get after it. The brush for today is the Maritime uh, Brush Co. We're seeing more of these out there, which I really like. Let's show you the coin there. Brendan over there at Maritime is really a nice guy. And this soap, once you lather it, it sort of takes on a say like something like a pudding or a chocolate milk sort of look to it if you can see that sort of brown tint in the tub uh, but i was worried honestly when i was lathering it because it was quite gritty when i pushed it in the bowl and i was like boy i don't know if i'm going to be able to work this grittiness out of it but i did and as you can see there it's definitely got some color to it so you might want to be careful if you have a badger brush with a lightly colored knot on it but i don't really worry about that too much i mean i'm using a cashmere knot and if it turns it brown it turns it brown i'm not too worried about it not saying it will, but that's always a concern for some people, especially with natural hair. But no problems lathering the soap, uh, other than you know working that grittiness I spoke about out of it. And it does have a little color, kind of looks like a light mud or maybe chocolate milk, something like that. But what I am getting here feels really good on the face, and the, the scent is really nice. It's a very nice tropical sort of scent, so I'm definitely digging that. We got plenty of hydration in here. So no problems with that. This definitely should be nice and slick, as pretty much any soap will be on the market if you lather it properly. And there we go, I'm gonna rinse that handle off because it's dripping down just a little bit. All right, and we are ready to do business today with our Feather SS. It's been a little while since we've used the Feather SS. The Feather SS, um, I've seen it Retail as low as like $69 right now. It looks like it's about $99 on Amazon. So check around for price. I'll definitely have links below. But um, when looking for this razor, shop around because you can, you know, the price seems to vary and fluctuate. So see if you can get the best price on it. Is my advice. And let's uh, let's stretch here and get after it. And by the way, I hope you're all having a terrific Sunday. 
so far, and that is cutting beautifully as expected, and the soap is quite slick also as expected. I really like the Feather um, SS here. It's probably my second favorite Shavette to the uh, number one for me would be the WEC, of course. <laughs> I just love the WEC, but I forgot it. I didn't bring it with me this time. But honestly, the Feather SS, it's a great, capable little shaver. And I enjoy using it a lot. And I'm sorry for not looking in the camera as much, but I have to pay a little more attention here when using open blades. You definitely have to be on your game and paying attention. A lot of times with DE razors, you know, I use those so often that you can be halfway asleep and just sort of go through it without thinking much about it. But with an open blade, you have to be more careful because, you know, that blade just sort of hanging out there. So always use care there. Let's try to get that little spot up there. And hair actually grows all the way up to here. Sometimes you'll see these little like white hairs right under my eye actually that's nuts and it's more prominent as you get older hair starts growing everywhere where it's not supposed to and it doesn't grow where you'd like it or actually um i think a lot of people would like hair on their head at this point i don't i prefer not having it <laughs> but if you wanted hair on your head and it seems like for some of us as you get older it won't grow there but it'll grow everywhere else your ears you know up here i mean just you know like what is that that's crazy isn't it i don't know why that is if any of you know why that is let me know it just seems weird that you would lose the hair on your head but then it starts growing in all these other weird places <laughs> So, so far the soap, it smells great. Um, I love the scent on this. Um, the performance is great in terms of it is quite slick, so no problems whatsoever from a quality perspective on this ENS Versace Milana. I really like the scent a lot. It's got a nice tropical vibe to it. Um, it's not exactly the same, I don't believe, but it, it'll sort of remind you of like A&E St. Bart's. It's in that realm. I don't know that it's exactly the same, but that's the vibe that it gives you. And of course, as I mentioned before, this is a product of uh, France and it's, it's pretty nice. I like it. So check it out if you please. If you're looking for a new brand or you want to try a soap from France that isn't say Martin de Condre or however you say that, I'm not even sure how exactly to pronounce that. A lot of us butcher that one, not being uh, speakers of French. <laughs> Of course, on the other hand, I butcher things that are in English, so, <laughs> you know, what are you going to do? Try my best. I don't always get it right, but, you know, what are you going to do? You can only do so much after all. Let's, let's get this little bit right here. All right, so I'd say the first pass was, uh, was quite good. No quality issues whatsoever with the soap. I think you can buy with confidence. Like I said, it's a little gritty to the touch, but uh, once you work that into a lather, it worked really well. So let's uh, go ahead, let's knock that down. We don't need, actually hair, like I said before, it does grow all the way up to there, but we don't necessarily need to shave that high every single time. Cause once you get that hair, you know, it's, it's pretty good for a while. It doesn't, it's not very noticeable. Let's put it that way. All right, let's lather up for pass number two. And, oh, nice scent on this. It's definitely pleasant. This. This is one of those uh, scents that uh, just makes you feel good, or at least makes me feel good. You know, it's, it is a departure from the scents that folks are putting out right now, which are all those, you know, dirt and <laughs> those sort of scents, which I really don't care for. Um, some people do. Some people really like the smell of the earth. I don't. Um, that's okay if you do. Again, there's no right and wrong way there when it comes to scents. You like what you like, but, you know, I've been through enough soaps. And you can see there's a lot of hydration in there to know what I like. And when it smells like dirt, it's not for me. And this one is far, far removed from that. Nice, pleasant, tropical vibe. And it is nice. So I like this soap. Would I buy this soap? Um... Had it not been sent to me by pastors based on my my use today, I was going to say utilization, but use today, yes. Yes, this is one I would buy because uh, beautiful scent and it lathers well. 
the only, um, I would say if you wanted to just pick out a negative, the only negative is that weird sort of gritty consistency. But again, I was able to whip it into a good lather. So ultimately that doesn't mean a whole lot. I was worried that the grittiness would still be there in the lather, but it doesn't appear to be. So I would say my, uh, my feelings about this soap, a good first impression. Um, I'm gonna rinse off the handle because again, it's dripping all over the place there. But definitely a good first impression from Moana. Uh, if you like tropical scents, this might be one to check out. Let's dry our hands. You definitely want to dry your hands when you're using a razor like this. And we'll come up and do this pass right here. And again, sorry for not looking into the camera, but I do have to focus more when using a uh, an open blade. It does require a little more focus. It's not, I mean, it's not rocket science. Don't get me wrong. I always like to say, if I can do it, you can do it, and you can. Um, just a matter of practicing and, you know, there's lots of people out there who will help you develop the technique that is necessary. But make no mistake, it's not rocket science. However, you do have to pay attention. But there's a lot of help for you out there if you want to learn to straight razor or shave at shave. So don't hesitate to lean on people for information. They will encourage you. They certainly encouraged me and helped me along the way. Um, the open blade community is a, is a really uh, friendly and helpful community, I think. And people want to see you um, succeed. And so that's always nice. All right. Really nice soap here. I got to say, I am impressed with this ENS Versage. Good shave with it today. And I like this scent a lot. It's uh, just one of those scents that make you happy. Kind of like the label, you know. You look at that label and it kind of, you know, just, I don't know, it sets a a picture in your mind and you think of that nice tropical beach and this soap it continues the vibe of the label which is exactly what you want it's got a again a, for me a very very pleasant uh, scent so this is a this would definitely be a thumbs up on this soap just again I warn you the soap is very dark um, color wise which I showed you earlier and it does have a kind of funny, gritty feel to it. Um, but you know, once you work it into a good lather, it's great, it's very slick. So, you know, it's doing all those things you want your soap to do, which is basically, in a nutshell, provide a, a platform for the razor to, to glide on. And it's definitely doing that. That is really, really slick. So very nice, very nice indeed. So thank you again to Pastors for sending that um, along. I appreciate that. And at some point, Pastors will be on Real Talk. We haven't caught back up with Leon yet, but we will definitely have him on and talk about the legendary Pastor shaving. That will be coming at some point when our schedules permit. I look forward to talking to uh, Leon. And I hope you'll join us for that when it happens. Of course, I'll, I'll let you know on the channel here when that's set up okay man that was a really nice shave today no complaints whatsoever all right let me rinse and then we'll come back get into the post stay tuned and all right we are back and off cam we did a warm water rinse to remove the soap and then we applied our razor rock travel alum no stinging so that was a super smooth shave no nicks guts creepers weepers irritation bubbles or troubles and that's the way we like to do it all the time Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse, and then we applied the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. I had an excellent shave today with E&S Rassage Moana, and, I, and this came from Pastors, New York City, product of France. Really nice tropical scent. I enjoyed it a lot. Big thumbs up on the E&S Rassage Moana. The Feather SS treated me well, as always, 
If you use this razor well, it will treat you well. It cut nicely, smooth, well-built, shavette type razor. I enjoyed that very much. We used our Maritime Brush Co. brush, and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. Of course, we used a bow we've been using a lot recently, our Hendrix Classics and Company bow, which I like a lot. More to come on that soon. We're going to finish it out today with, oh, there it is, the Razor Rock Irish Countryside that I'm working on. I'm going to have this one uh, finished pretty soon, I do believe. So we'll slap some of this on and we'll be on our way to having a great Sunday. And I hope wherever you are, you have a great Sunday as well. Wishing you many, many blessings. Thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.